We celebrate this year the 20 years anniversary for the cooperation with Lucasfilm about Star Wars. It has been a fantastic success for us as a company. The idea came from our American organization to have the first IP product with uh, Star Wars. I met some skepticism here. I had seen the first episode, so I loved it already. I thought this was such an imaginative world and it was so full of action, full of humor. And I thought, wow, this is fantastic. But the word wars there was somehow conflicting a little with what some of my colleagues thought. So we went very far in testing it with, I think, German mothers. And they said, okay, if our children want to see the Star Wars movies, then it's better also that they build some Lego products afterwards. And I thought that was great. So we made a very fast, actually, uh, production. Five from the new first episode that would be launched in 99 and 13 from the first three episodes. And immediately it became a great success. I remember many things from that period. First of all, I would say I was so happy already early on to visit George Lucas in uh, Lucas Valley, which is a coincidence that the valley is named not after him, but already called Lucas Valley, and it was fantastic to meet him. He was already a passionate Lego fan, and he thought the idea of building Lego creations was great. So we had with him a very great cooperation already from the early days. And I think that we took it step by step also. We, we started out a little slower. We still had our yellow minifigs uh, with the faces. I think just a few years after we started making them in the right skin color also so that we could have the different characters. And we also quickly started making the very special figures. Like I think uh, Jar Jar Binks was the first one. And a few years after, we had Chewbacca also, but I think really the whole gallery of figures, more than 100 different uh, versions of the different characters from uh, the, all the uh, episodes of, of, of Star Wars. We have had some fantastic models. The Christmas gift here is a Christmas version of the X-Wing fighter. I think we have had, we have made 24 different versions of the X-Wing fighter. And so it is also with the Millennium Falcon. We have had this big, big box to make a real supermodel. It has been a fantastic success. I hope you all enjoyed building this very special Christmas Star Wars X-Wing fighter. And uh, we have really thought of that this should be something that you can enjoy also in coming years. You can, in our instructions, also see how you can take it apart and put it into the box and save it for future Christmases. It's time oh. to play. It's time to play. Let's get the put pilot in. in the cockpit. Okay, I All close set. it here. Lift off. <laughs> and we have to... Wing goes up. <laughs> oh, oh, that was one of the Christmas gifts. What Christmas gift. Let's, yeah, spread. Let's... let's spread the Christmas gift to the children of the entire galaxy. Will you push these down? <laughs> and then of course That's the candy sound. comes out. Oh. <laughs> Yoda is very busy picking it up. Yeah. And here I just come. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is really the perfect gift for the children and parents of the galaxy. Of the it? galaxy, yeah, of the entire of course. galaxy. Fantastic. 20 years cooperation. We can reload yeah. the gifts. You know where they are? No, I have no idea what to do. But they okay. will come back on. This is a X-Wing loaded with a ton of gifts. Oh. Okay, here we go. This is not appropriate, but you know, it sits anywhere. Yeah, you can put them in there. <laughs> Christmas is over, and now I have stored the wonderful model in the box. And now it's ready for use next year for Christmas. Happy New Year!